What's up you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlogs and as always i appreciate all the love and support in today's video it is like what time is it right now it's 4 51 a.m i got the z01 out here with me and as you can see on the z there is no hood on the car you already know what's about to happen let's go all right you guys so we are officially in California right now, and the time zone, it's gonna change by tomorrow, but we hit traffic a couple of times, and right now it's not that bad, but I was testing it out real quick to see what the supercharger sounds like, being that the hood is off the car, and I'm gonna let this traffic clear up, and we're gonna try it again so I can try to catch it before we get to the actual shop. We're about 27 miles out, and we're making a full stop. What is this? Hey, shout out to my man. <laughs> Appreciate my boy. Hey. There you go. Hell yeah. That's sick. His plate says quick SS. That's sick, man. Shout out to my man right there. Very nice, man. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Just like that, we are officially here at Auto Attic USA here in California. And of course, I had to make my way to the shop and bring it to nobody else but to Mo. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna put on. A shout out to my man with his new GT500 he just got. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I believe he said he's gonna get this thing ceramic coated tomorrow with some PPF film. Very nice, aggressive front end. You guys know about the GT500. These things are quick, they're like, what are, what are these, like 670? Yeah, really. Six, uh, 760, 780? Wait, hold on. Let me pull up. Come on, man, you used to, you used to have a Mustang. Let me Look, tell you dropping. something, let me tell you something. As soon as I got rid of the Mustang, I said, no more Mustangs. Camaro time, baby. There you go. Yeah, you guys, he just got himself a 2019 2SS. Beautiful Camaro. We're already some mods on there. And I'm sure you guys can tell, that you know driving around superman with no hood on the car that's literally what we're doing like in the thumbnail it shows i'm pretty sure you guys caught it by now but a brand new hood is going on there and i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like i hope you guys like what you're about to see i'm telling you the look that we're going for is a track look and i always mentioned back in the day if i can you know hopefully god willing get the zl1 then i want the zl1 to come in and look like a track car more or less than a show car we already have that with optimus so that was the goal with the zl1 now we have the zl1 and we're working on it it's a work in progress but what i can tell you is it's just a quick glance right over there and that's about it you know what i'm saying so is it 760? 760 horsepower yes sir all right cool yeah no that's quick and then that guy said that he was gonna uh, do some more stuff to it yeah he's he getting a little over 800 yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah no he told me outside some more power oh for real power mods yeah he's gonna do a couple more things get it over 800 yeah that's gonna be legit but yeah you guys let me show you guys inside the shop what it looks like in here the zl1 just started as you heard yeah he's gonna have whatever you guys need automatic usa yep of course let me see if we can catch him real quick do it again Let's go around the other side. Man, it was really fun, you guys, driving like this with no hood. I'm not gonna lie, that supercharger wine was insane. Whew. So, the first thing that we have going on right now is the actual hood is 
Finally right here next to the car. This is the closest that I've got it. And I got Mo here with me from Auto Attic what's USA. What's up guys, how are you doing? Mo, I wanted to ask you if you can do me a huge favor. What's up, what's up? Can you break down to everyone out there that's watching the video all about this hood and some key pointers that you of can course, think of that of can course. help them out? I got you. When installing the hood, what to do when you're gonna install the hood, what to look for with some options that the hood comes with. 100%. And what you recommend. I got you. So the first thing right now is you guys see, we have the hood facing backwards, right? This is one of the first uh, steps that we must do before we get our customer installed with a carbon fiber hood, is eating the, uh, eating, installing the yeah. Thermotech. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's gonna be eating the competition. Yeah, that, it yeah for sure. <laughs> installing the Thermotech uh, heat shield. This is a very massive hood, and you have a lot of gray area in the back right here on the two sides in the middle where all the action is going on with the supercharged engine. So this allows it to protect it from all the heat that's happening with his uh, engine when he's driving his vehicle, especially being a ZL1 supercharged engine. The heat is going to be even more than an SS or an RS. So for sure, for sure, it's 100% recommended to add the Thermotech. Now, when it comes to installing it, and obviously if you guys don't get the opportunity to come and do it with us here in California, it's a very simple process where I just grab a, a set of tools, a uh, cutter, a knife uh, cutter as well, and as well the scissors. So this allows me to kind of outline my shapes of what I'm doing. And after that, I just edge it with the blade, cutting out everything to give it this perfect formation that it has right now. And the cool thing about it, on the back, it's all carbon fiber. So it is a legit double-sided carbon fiber hood to make sure you're getting a light product to make sure to increase, for example, performance. My guy ZLS Prime over here, he's gonna track this thing. So numbers means a lot to him. So yes, weight sir. reduction is gonna be a big factor when it comes to putting this build on the track and it's gonna definitely increase and help his number to be a lot better. All right guys, now we went over the backside of this carbon fiber hood. Now let's expose the Copo carbon fiber gloss front end right here. As you see, it's all nice and glossy, ready to install on the vehicle without any paint no need to do any body work, ready to go. That's the benefit of having a carbon fiber hood, knowing that you're gonna be ready to install the product without doing any hiring body shops or painting. Now, the cool thing about this, it's got some awesome aerodynamic lines going from a flat surface to an upper rise uh, angle and then also exposing that fine copo scoop right in the middle. One of my favorite hoods, why? Because the vent is fully 100% functional, letting all the heat that's coming out of that supercharged engine and exposing it all to the front of the vent, letting your engine cool down a lot faster than the OE hood. So that's a big, big benefit that's gonna be adding to the build. And at the same time, you cannot, you can't beat this mean, aggressive looking oh, yeah. Popo. So this thing is, he's gonna be catching heads. He's a head turner for a reason, yes, right? Sir. So we gotta make sure we match the name yes, to sir. the aggressive look that it deserves. And this thing is gonna be catching eyes and turning heads left and right. So we're super happy to it. Once we install it, we'll definitely show you guys the final look. I got, I got a, I got a, what do you call it? A piggyback off of that right there. You see what he just said? Let me touch base on that. He said he's a head turner for a reason. That is very true. Shout out to the entire head turner family. A lot of those guys come to this shop too. So they inspired me to keep going. You know what I mean? So I appreciate those guys. But everybody else that comes here too, we appreciate you as well. But yeah, that hood, dude, that thing is gonna be insane. And I can't wait to put it on for two reasons. One, the safety of that motor driving on the highway. And two, the look of that is gonna be insane. Hopefully you guys like it. So the hood is officially on. Look at this angle, you guys. Oh my God. That is a sick, sick angle. That's like one of my favorite angles right there. I'm not gonna lie. As you work your way around, look how aggressive that hood is. Full carbon fiber, double-sided. Under the hood is all carbon fiber. Entire scoop right there to let airflow get to the motor. Very, very nice setup. That is a five inch cowl. Super aggressive. Absolutely love it. Blends really, really well. So this is the Anderson Composite Copo hood. And then we got the APR front splitter, carbon add-ons, carbon um, side mirrors, antenna, Auto Attic USA, ZL11 LE style, full carbon wing, where the winglets, you don't have to stick them on. They come pre-molded and ready to go. And then we got the C8 Corvette conversion. Tail lights with the AWE exhaust. All the way around, Apex wheels, race wheels. I wanted to go for a race look. And I really, really hope you guys like that. I'm gonna film some more once we get back to Arizona. Wow. All right, you guys, we are back in Arizona. And I know that I just changed the scenery on you out of nowhere. Behind me, there is exotic cars. And I am back here just to go ahead and wrap it up. 
I came here to stop by real quick. Um, I know the video is kind of going to the left right now, but throwing a little loop in the mix, but I came here to stop by real quick to check out my good friend with steering wheel art. And uh, he's, he's worked on my Camaro multiple times. So this guy, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can check him out. His work is incredible. I'm gonna leave also a link up top so that way you guys can watch that last video that he helped out as well. And of course, Highline European. This, this place is incredible. If you have an exotic car or whatnot, bring it over here. You need some work done to it. What Man, I'm telling you, this is the place to be. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the hood so I can highlight what it looks like here today. Unbelievable. The view from, or that shot, that side angle from like this side right here, every time I walk past it, it's just incredible. Now, I can't tell you how many people stop and stare at the ZL1 because that carbon fiber it just gleams, gleaming. It is just gleaming in the sun. Unbelievable. I love it. I'm very, very grateful. It's got that five inch cowl on there. It's got the scoop in the front where it lets in a lot of air. So that way, it, and it travels all the way through. It is incredible. You can hear that whine, unreal. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a separate video on that supercharger whine so you guys can see what I mean. I literally was told yesterday by one of my guys who was next to me, he said, dude, I'm not going to lie to you. It literally whines and sounds like a demon, Dodge Demon, because the Dodge Demon is very, very loud. But you can hear this thing. It makes a world of difference. And there's a couple of reasons why I feel like it's doing it. And I'm going to share it with you guys on the next video. On today's video, it's just basically pretty much showing you guys the unveil of the new hood that is on Superman. The ZL1. And I hope you guys really, really like it. Either way, you guys, if you've thought about getting this hood, make sure you guys get this hood. Anderson Composite, their work is incredible. It is absolutely amazing. Let me actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me pop the hood real quick, and I'm going to show you what it looks like under it. Can't get enough of that right there. Look at that carbon fiber. I thought about, again, I thought about painting that, or you know what I mean, or wrapping it. We're just going to leave it exposed like that incredible now under it one thing i do recommend is this thermal heat shield right here on this side this side and this side make sure you guys opt in for that and put that on the car because it's going to help it for a couple of reasons one it's going to help it from the heat coming up from the motor and two it's going to help it because of that heat that comes up could fade the carbon fiber on the hood itself it'll turn kind of yellowish on the top because it, it heats up like that now i don't want to miss out on here the best part that i've been waiting for and it's to take this off right here and as you can see it is anderson composites man gorgeous love it hopefully you guys like that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and hopefully you guys enjoyed what i showed you highlighting that hood big shout out once again to auto addict usa uh, for taking care of the zl1 you know they are one of my sponsors for both cars and if you guys need anything from their website make sure you guys put on coupon code add coupon code prime and you can pick whatever you guys like from the site of course shout out to the fam too you know i got some of my boys here with me and they brought their cars out but either way in the meantime between time if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button down below a thumbs up definitely helps out the channel leave me that comment let me know what you guys think and you guys know the drill a dilla bow superman right there behind me prep time chilling in the garage and i'll see you guys on the next one peace